Nakaiser National Park or Nexar National Park is a national park in the Southern Nations, Nationalities, and Peoples Region of Ethiopia. It is in the Great Rift Valley, within the southwestern Ethiopian highlands. Geography <laughs> 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 The 514 square kilometer (127,000 acre) park includes the Bridge of God, an isthmus between Lake Abaya and Lake Chamo, and the Nakaiser (English: White Grass) plains east of the lakes. It is east of Arba Minch. Park elevations range between 1,108 and 1,650 meters (3,635 and 5,413 feet) above sea level. Nakaiser National Park was established in 1974. Under the management of African Parks Network APN since 2005, it was reportedly scheduled to hand over management to the Ethiopian government in June 2008. History and management As part of a 1960s UNESCO plan to protect and conserve nature and natural resources in Ethiopia, a two-person team of UNESCO consultants spent three months surveying most major wildlife areas in Ethiopia, and officially submitted to the Wildlife Conservation Board in 1965 their recommendations, which included a game reserve to the east of Lake Chamo to provide protection for the population of Swain's hartebeest and other local wildlife. Nexar National Park was proposed in 1967, then officially established in 1974. Since then it has not legally been gazetted, but has functioned as de facto national park. Following the recommendations of the Ethiopian Ministry of Agriculture recommendation, in 1982 the local Guji, who had been living as pastoralists in the lowlands beside Lake Abaya and Chamo, were forcibly evicted from the park at gun point. In the lawless period at the end of the Derg rule and immediately afterwards, Nakaiser suffered much damage. Park buildings located far from the headquarters were looted and damaged. At the same time, the local Guji returned to their traditional grazing areas. According to one source, they fled there from the attacks of the Barena Oromo, who in turn were victimized by neighboring ethnic groups, their presence degrading the environment and contributing to the local extinction of many species. The Guji also acquired firearms during this period, and used them to resist eviction from the park afterwards. In 2005, Refugees International criticized their eviction. In 2005, the management responsibility for Nakaiser National Park was handed over to APN. In consultation with the Ethiopian government and the SNNPR government they began attempting to address the problems with illegal operations in the park including the illegal cutting down of trees for firewood for Arba Minch, illegal fishing, illegal human settlement and cattle grazing inside the park. APN assigned a group of scouts to improve the protection of the area. One of the major environmental concerns facing the park is illegal fishing operations on Lake Abaya and Chamo. According to Abara Adnu, deputy manager of Arba Minch Fishermen Cooperatives, there are over 3,000 illegal fishermen working on Lake Abaya. The Arba Minch Fishermen Cooperative has attempted to address the problem but has faced much hostility from the illegal fishermen who depend on the fish stocks for their livelihoods. The problem is enhanced by water recession from the shore during the dry seasons and the volume has been diminishing in the last few years as tributary rivers were diverted for irrigation. A tributary, the Culfo River, which once had an abundant fish population has dried out considerably during dry season. Some farmers in the park have taken advantage of the dry land on the shores and have begun banana cultivation in recent years referred to the locals as soak. The Fishermen's Association is licensed to work on Lake Chamo as well, but aside from conflicts with the fishermen, they have also faced hostility from Guji pastoralists. APN attempted to directly negotiate with the Guji communities in the park and according to the manager of APN, we managed to have an agreement with the Guji people by the end of September 2004. John Mark said, the federal government requested a formal letter from the SNNPR government approving the negotiation between the Guji communities and African parks. But the regional government would not approve the negotiation. That is the main reason why they are pulling out. Quote, 
While tourism in Ethiopia has increased in the park in recent years, doubling each year from 5,300 tourists in 2005 to 20,500 in 2007, in October 2008 APN announced that they were ending management of Nakaiser National Park. In a magazine article reprinted on their website, APN claims that sustainable management of the Ethiopian parks is incompatible with the irresponsible way of living of some of the ethnic groups. African Parks added that the emphasis for resettling inhabitants out of the park, rather than educating them to work with them, came from the Ethiopian government. APN was told that the Guji were an Oromo people, and they belong in the adjoining Oromia province, not among the Gamo and Gofa peoples of the southern district, where the park is. Geography and landscape The important regional center to the park is Arba Minch in the main Ethiopian rift. Approximately 15% of the park consists of lakes including Lake Abaya in the north and Lake Chamo in the south. Part of the habitat consists of the groundwater forest and shoreline of the lakes, but there are dry grassy plains, and most of the park is covered in thick bushland and the wooded valleys and foothills of the Amaro Mountains. The altitude ranges from 1,108 meters above sea level at the shore of Lake Chamo to 1,650 meters on Mount Tabala in the northeast, renowned for its hot springs. The forest between the two lakes and by the Culfo River is dominated by Ficus sycamorus, which can grow up to 30 meters tall. Extensive areas to the west of Lake Abaya were cleared in the 1960s and 1970s to establish large scale mechanized farms for cotton and other crops. The freshwater swamps at the mouth of the Culfo River and in Lake Chamo are dominated by Typha angustifolia, tall waterside grasses and the small leguminous trees, such as Eschinomene elephroxylon and Cisbania sesbon. Taller trees found in the park include Dichrostachys cinerea, Acacia tortilis, Balanites aegyptiaca and less common Acacia nilotica. The southern part of the park is dominated by a daffic grassland and a calcareous black clay soil underneath with Dobera glabra, Acacia tortilis and the grass Chrysopogon osheri forming much of the landscape. Both Lake Abaya and Chamo have substantial fish populations, notably Nile perch, which forms the basis of the local fishing industry. Crocodiles inhabit both lakes and there is a crocodile farm near Lake Abaya. At Chamo crocodiles are exploited for their skins. Wildlife Wildlife in the park include Plains Zebra, Grant's Gazelle, Dick Dick, and the Greater Kudu as well as one of the last three populations of the endangered Swains hartebeest, endemic to Ethiopia. A stretch of the northwest shore of Lake Chamo is known as Crocodile Market, where hundreds of crocodiles gather to bask. The park also has populations of bushbuck, bushpig, Anubis baboon, vervet monkeys, and black-backed jackal. The endangered painted hunting dog, Lycaean pictus, once existed in the park with last sightings at Fincha, but may now be extirpated due to human population pressures in this region. In 2009, a small group of less than 23 lions were estimated in and around the protected area. Nakaiser National Park is considered an important habitat for bird populations, particularly those migrating. It has a noted population of kingfishers, storks, pelicans, flamingos, and African fish eagles. Other birds include Falco naumani and Circus macroeurus, which are fairly common on passage, while small numbers of Phenacopterus minor have been reported on Lakes Chamo and Abaya. Species typical of bushland habitats include Phoeniculus somaliensis, Lanius dorsalis and Cysticola bodessa and the open plains support three species that are very unknown elsewhere in Ethiopia, an isolated population of Marafra albicauda, the endemic Capramulgus salala and the rare C. stellatus. The southwestern corner of Lake Abaya supports one of only two Ethiopian populations of Myrmacosicla albifrons. Other species of note include Accipiter ovumpensis, Avicetta cuculoides, Gypetus barbatus, Macurumphus alcinus, Chelictinia riocori, Franklinus lavalenti, Potica senegalensis, Crithagra ricardi, Shaudadinopus myoptilis, and Corocina casea. <laughs> 